What's up everyone? Today we've got a really exciting one. We're going to be setting up my house for internet and we will be using Ubiquiti's Unify line to do it. I've got the Dream Machine Pro here, the USW24 port power over ethernet switch, a couple of Wi-Fi 6 access points, and one of their brand new cameras that we'll take a look at today. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here you can see that I am fishing the cables up and above my AC unit and putting it up into the ceiling so that when we actually finish the basement, it will be completely up there. Um, here I'm using what's called fishing tape. Uh, this is a, a fantastic tool, which is basically just a massive reel of metal um, tape or tube. And you basically will fish it through the air ducts and the small crevices. You tape the ethernet cable to the end of it uh, so that you can pull it through those tight spots. Then I went ahead and um, tied down all of the ethernet cables there so that they stayed in place. And finally, I needed to cut uh, some wood so that we could actually build the frame for the setup that we're going to use um, to plug everything into. So this is where we began. I went ahead and added the rack to um, the wood planks there and we screwed it in and bolted it into the ground. Then I went ahead and installed the router as you can see here. Um, this is the, the UDM Pro here. Um, so went ahead and just got that all settled. Next, uh, after that was in, we went ahead and installed the um, switch itself. And we wanted to make sure that they were close together so that when we were plugging in ethernet cables from one to the other, that it was a really seamless and short run. Uh, lastly, on this rack, we went ahead and grabbed the actual patch panel here. This is what we're going to plug the ethernet cables from the entire house into so that when we're servicing and maintaining all these connections down here, it's very simple. And as you can see here, this is kind of the finished product of what that looks like. So I went ahead finally and started plugging all of the ethernet cables into the actual patch panel. Uh, I have a video that describes this in depth on how this works. Um, and I'm going to show you a brief uh, section of this here in just a second, but this really makes it easy because then you can label these and uh, you know, know exactly what you're plugging into. This is the finished product upstairs. These are just the outlets that we plug stuff into, such as the TV uh, in this shot. Uh, computers, uh, printers, etc. can all plug in via this. And so we grab a testing tool here. Uh, this is the other end of it. So you, you plug it in upstairs on one end. And then in the basement, you go ahead and you actually plug it in at the bottom to see if the connection goes all the way through. A shot here, plug it in. We'll hit the uh, test button here, and there we go. We've got pass. Green RJ45, no faults, which means that we've wired this particular one, number four, correctly on this end and correctly on the end upstairs. I tried to make this flashy and sexy at the end with the uh, blacked out lights and the flashing LEDs, but that didn't work too well. So this is the finished product. We've got a, a power supply down there that'll keep battery backup for us. And finally, I went ahead and installed the actual mounts for the access points. This is what they look like when it's finished. Um, very sleek and minimal. All right, so this is the finished product. It's all good to go. Um, it's actually been about a year and a half since I recorded this video, uh, but I'm now just finishing it. So we've got a couple of extra things in here. I've got a couple of Mac minis that uh, are our servers for various different websites and applications that I run. Got a Synology NAS, which I have another video that I will put up soon about how I replaced my entire backup system. Uh, we've got the router, we've got the switch, we've got the patch panel here, and all of these cables. This big old umbilical cord comes in from the upstairs. Uh, the basement is unfinished at this point, and so when we do finish it, we're going to pull in all the cables from downstairs and plug them in here. You can see we've got 24 ports uh, on this patch panel here. So we're gonna plug those in. This is kind of how it looks thus far. About half of them are used at this point. Uh, Eventually the entire basement will be finished. It'll all have ethernet in every single room. Those will pull right into here. We'll plug them in, we'll be good to go. And then we've just got a, a, a power supply unit here. Uh, half of it is battery backup on this side. So if the power goes out, we can go ahead and restore power for about 40, 45 minutes. Um, so the servers and the hard drives, etc., will continue to run for about 40 minutes. Um, best case scenario is that the power comes back on and that uh, that will restore the power to these devices and that there's no downtime. Uh, worst case scenario is it will start to beep with about three to five minutes left, which will allow me to jump in uh, and actually turn them off so that the hard drives um, don't incur any damage. 
uh, and we can shut everything down completely. That's pretty much it. Um, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.